Okay, so I wanted to do a complete newbie's guide to installing Google Apps and getting recovery on um, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 2. I just got one uh, yesterday and I've been following instructions and turns out that actually even though it seems like all instructions are easily laid out um, on the um, MUI threads, it's actually quite nuanced and um, it takes quite a bit to understand if you're coming completely fresh. So I figured let's make a complete dummy's guide to getting this um, going. Now, let's go. So you can see that we're installing um, Google Apps via this thread. It says um, download the file. So you go on the um, opengapps.org site. You can select the variant that you want. Um, in my case, ARM64, and then you can download. But then next, you can actually see recovery mode is where you need to go next, So, which leads you to this thread, how to flash recovery. Um, the first key thing is actually to make sure you're logged in. That was the trickiest thing, because if you're not logged in, you don't see access to the files and links to download. Um, you can see the hidden content here. So I didn't see that when I didn't log in, and also you need to reply as well um, to be able to see. So downloading USB drivers, I actually had to use these ones. Um, the ones on the thread link didn't work for me. You find, I'll provide the link as well on Android XDA, you basically find Xiaomi Redmi Note 2, you try download it, right, and then you can go ahead. So, because these ones actually have an um, executable file. Download all the other files and you should have them installed in a folder like this. Once you go about, make sure you install the um, USB drivers now. Now, I've actually got them already pre-installed, so obviously it's saying that I've already installed them, so I don't need to do that. The actual other key thing is make sure you restart your computer after this step um, before you use ADB tools. But just extract the ADB tools first, and then what you've got to do is open the tools folder, and then the T, the recovery file, put that into the same folder as the tools folder. Rename that to recovery, okay, because that'll um, be easier to type in later. Now, once you're here, press shift, okay, press shift, and you'll see the open command window here when you press shift and right click. Now that you're in the command window, you can actually type in the command prompt to be able to flash your phone. Um, what we actually can do is, if we just go back to the thread, you can see what you type in is that, fastboot flash recovery, recovery image, paste it in. But before you do anything, okay, you can't, you need to make sure you connect your phone. Now, first things first though, um, other newbie mistakes I made is that when I actually go and I turned on my phone, um, I actually need to go to turn on developer mode first because I keep on plugging the phone in and it just keeps on being recognized as a USB storage device. So make sure that you turn on developer mode first and then you go back um, by and then now you can go into additional settings and now you see extra settings for developer somewhere down here. There we go, developer options. Make sure you turn on USB debugging, okay? Without doing that, you won't be able to flash your phone, all right? Otherwise, it keeps on being recognized as a USB device when you plug it into your computer. Now that you've done that, you can um, turn off your phone. All right, now we're turning it off and now we can turn it into fast boot mode. What you do is press down volume key there and power button at the same time. All right, so let's just press it and you enter this fast boot. You see this little screen, it doesn't do anything. But what you gotta do now is take the phone, connect it up to your computer. While the command prompt is still on, right? Now that's when you can press enter on that command prompt. So you press enter and sorry about that, um, it'll say that recovery, recovery done, finished. It takes like half a second. 
Once you've done that, make sure you go to phone storage now. You need to transfer the files, uh, the recovery file and the Google Apps onto the phone. I just did it on the main root of the folder. So do the update SU file, copy that over, and then also copy over the Google Apps. So now it didn't work for me when I did the stock version. And I had to do ARM64, gave me an error when I did ARM, when I tried the flash before. So I had to choose ARM64, 5.0 Android was the version that the phone came with. And um, I had to use mini. Stock was too big a file size. The difference is that you get stock, you get your Google Docs, Drive, Earth, Fitness, Keep, Play Games, all sorts of extra stuff. Whereas mini, you really just get a basic subset of Google Search, YouTube, Gmail. But that's all I really need at the moment. I don't know why I couldn't flash the stock, but um, uh, that's that's fine with me. See, I've got that on now. You press download on the mini. You can try stock if you want. It'll just give you an error if it doesn't work, so you've got nothing to lose. Okay, so now that you've got all the files on the phone, let's let's just go back and turn on recovery. So you've unplugged your phone, you've got to press up volume key in the power button. Okay, so let's just press it. You'll boot into Team Win. It takes about a few minutes. Um, I've just yeah, cut to the chase here. Press install and then find the file for Super SU. So you keep on going down the route of your internal storage. Update Super User and swipe to confirm. This one should be quite quick. It just flashes and it's done and now so now you've rooted your phone. Um, let's go back now and install the Google Apps update as well so you can get Google Play Store etc. Put in choose the file, I'm choosing the mini. Swipe to confirm. This is this takes a little bit more of a moment, probably takes about you know a couple minutes. But let it go. Now, this is where the point it comes error if um, when I tried stock initially because um, it said not enough, uh, you know, not enough room, etc. Choosing the non-64 version, that didn't work either, so I chose the ARM64. And let it go, let it keep running. And it should soon finish in time. There we go. Okay, now let's reboot the system. Okay, now I've fast forwarded the installation, of course. Um, you go back to your phone now, and you can now see that all sorts of the Google apps are back on. So if we tried Maps, for example. Let's just see if that works. Accept, continue. Um, well, I'll skip for now, and let's just try searching somewhere. Well, let's go. Um, Let's try that, select the keyboard, type in Sydney, and there we go. Okay, we can zoom in. So it looks like Google Maps is working, so that's really good. Pretty awesome. Um, let's just try Google Play Store as well. Um, so oh, I've just got to sign in, so I'll quickly sign in and then fast. Okay, let it load, um, untick that, and let's see if we can go. So I can see that, um, yeah, there you go, Play Store's all working and loaded up. Um, that's really good. I've already downloaded a couple of things as well before. Everything worked, it didn't seem to be any issues, so um, that's all really good. Yeah, and that's how you store Google Apps.